What's up, my dudes? It's, we going? I left. I actually left the commentary on there, but I guess it's not wrong. So uh, maybe I'll just leave that there. Anyway, <laughs> so Josh is back again with the next run, Whisper and Mirror. This is a weird resolution for a fan game, but I, there is a reason for you'll, it. You'll so. see why in a bit. So. Yeah. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and jump into start game. Don't start it yet, because you'll see there's a delete save file thing. Oh, okay. Well, just let me know when you want so to press the button. Time will start when I click yes, which will be in three, two, one, go. I'm kind of thirsty. Are you thirsty too? Well, wait a minute. There is only Java. Is it okay? Well. And that's the story of this game. Uh, this first jump's kind of hard. It's just a roadblock for the rest of it. Alright, there we go. So, I want to whisper in Mirror. You may be asking, wait, why is there a 15-minute game in the marathon? Well, to answer that, we need to talk about window size. In this game, you can touch these things and they will resize the window. And that actually does affect the gameplay. For instance, I can screen wrap now. And once I make the screen bigger, I'll be able to screen wrap below it as well. So it becomes this puzzle of trying to figure out how exactly are you going to get to the warp. Some of them aren't that hard. Other times, you can be here for a couple of minutes. But yeah, it's just touch object, screen changes size. Pretty cool concept. I'm sad at how short this game is, because it's really well made. I accidentally touched the wall. One of the things you gotta worry about is not only where you are, but where the stuff, like, on the opposite side of the screen is, so you know when you can wrap and what will happen if you go outside the boundaries. That gate is hard. It truly is. parts about this game in general is that you have to really think about your jumps before you do them and if you don't you can end up jumping into spikes that you didn't even know were there like that there's always one screen in the run that decides it's gonna be the run killer Everything else is just free, but one screen decides, hey, I'm going to take five minutes. There we go. This screen's pretty neat. You gotta time your double jump in order to touch the screen expander. There we go. This screen you lap around multiple times. Each time the screen gets a little bit smaller, making the lap not as large. Expand the screen again.
And that about does it. That's it for the hard stuff. Now we just hold left. Time comes when I jump into the final expander. And time. That was I Want to Whisper in Mirror. It's a short game, but it's a really interesting game. I would recommend it to anyone who wants to just have some chill needle to play. Praise Cone. The only reason this is here is because I can't just game capture it, otherwise it becomes a weird size whenever it resizes. So I display capture and I have to have something in the background. Alright. Cool. Yeah. That was much faster than I expected. It's a short game. It's interesting. Also, right. for anyone interested, that is world record by 2 minutes and 14 seconds. Oh, shit. <laughs> Why didn't you say that before? <laughs> 446. I didn't expect to be able to beat it that fast. I am thirsty. Damn. Thank you for asking, Reaper. You you kind of destroyed it by a couple minutes at least. Yeah. Could definitely get a sub four. But that's that. All right. Well, I guess next up we got the uh, Stan and his mighty mighty big boy Mario sixty four run with Star Revenge Two Night of Doom. So I look forward to that. My dude's we're gonna get him set up real quick. Right.